Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Mike. Hey, we the brothers here uh, from the Great Millstone uh, Church uh, of Atlanta, uh, coming back with another lesson uh, through the Spirit, Lord willing. Uh, we hope and pray that it's edifying. Uh, before we get started, of course, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakapadash. Also, we want to say double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. And peace, salutations, many blessings unto the elect of Israel, scattered around the four corners of the earth that has given all diligence to make their calling of election short. All right, Shalom to you and also your families. All right, this lesson is going to be entitled, The Lord Will Not Give His Glory to Another. Okay, and uh, me and the captain of uh, Abu Baja, we were speaking um, uh, earlier in our group chat out here in, in, in Atlanta. And uh, he made, basically made a great point. You know, I'll basically let, let you reiterate the point. Okay, good. Well... We were um, having a friendly, uh, I guess, conversation amongst the brothers about the whole Nick Cannon situation. And um, I just, you know, through the Spirit said that, you know, we can't expect um, Nick Cannon or any of these celebrities or any any figure to uh, step up and, and basically deal with the word of Yahweh Bashimi Yahweh as a marksman or with that perfection because... That would be, that would bring about glory unto them in a way that wouldn't it really wouldn't be fair in the spirit. That glory of of, 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 of telling your enemy in his face who he is and using the the, the proper precepts to yeah. back it up, break down the breakdowns, the history, really hit it with that that wisdom. Yeah, going into the word cosmos. Yeah, all of that, all of that. That's that that glory is is set for the the prophets. And Nick Cannon, which is not something to be mad about, is he just showed he's not a prophet. That's it. He just showed he's not a prophet. Mm -hmm. But he, you know, he's an Israelite, and that's and that's cool. So the the Israelites are people knowing that they're Israel. Some Israelites are going. That's going to be enough. Yeah. Just them knowing they're Israelite, they're going to get salvation from that. Yeah. But we're not in that lot. The Lord's holding us to a, a higher standard. You know, that's, you know, this is the background on that. That's right, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to magnify and glorify his name, you know, through his servants. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's not going to be an individual that's going to step on the scene and then all of a sudden they're going to receive the credit, you know, for, for bringing out the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the Lord can use who, whomever he want to use. He, he spoke through a donkey in the that's book right. of Numbers, dealing with Balaam and Balak. Okay, so the Lord can speak to whomever, but... According to the scriptures, the Lord is going to get praise and fame to those where it was said unto them they were not the Lord's people. And who's been the ones out, out there on the highways and byways week in and week out? The, starting with the apostles and elders of, of Great Millstone, with Apostle Tahar, Apostle uh, Rakar, Apostle Rabar, Apostle Ramla, the elder Manatazak, you know, all, all the elders, man, Elder uh, Tazadak, Tazadak Ba. Mm -hmm. Okay, they, they've been the ones that's been laboring week in and week out so that we might be fed. Uh, in the spirit. So the Lord is not going to raise up a Nick Cannon or a Young Jeezy or a uh, Kendrick Lamar or yeah. a Fantasia Marino mm -hmm. or a uh, Tiffany Haddish, you know. And there's, there's a lot of, a lot of these, a lot of them know they're Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord's not going to give that that um, that um glory to another. He's not going to give that glory to another deity. Okay? So we want to get a couple precepts and, um, you know, bring this out, Lord willing. I got, I got one. Okay, you um, got it, bro. Uh, this is Revelation 14, and uh, I'm sorry, 1, and it says, And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the on the Mount Zion, and with him a hundred forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder, and I heard the voice of harpers, Harping with their harps. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. Mm. And when you go into Revelation 7, it tells you um, the four angels on the four corners of the earth holding back the four winds of destruction until what? The servants be sealed. Mm. The Lord didn't didn't 
It started, Revelation 7 starts with what? 12,000 of each tribe being sealed, the men, which are the servants, the prophets. And then that great multitude came in because it's for glory's sake. It's for order's sake. It's for reverence sake. Everything that has a, has a place and a position. Absolutely. The 144,000, those men are going to have the whole song. Nick has a tune. <laughs> he yeah. has a piece of the song. Uh -huh. You know, he can hit a note, uh -huh. but he can't, he can't hit all the right notes to that that just got it just he ain't he ain't he ain't an expert in the song absolutely you know and that's what differentiates individuals that has heard the truth from individuals that labor and live in the truth mm -hmm. nick cannon don't walk the truth man mm -hmm. nick cannon don't apply the truth into his daily uh routine mm -hmm. okay nick cannon is not praying to the name of yahweh okay so therefore the the the, the glory that you receive behind it is not going to be equivalent to the glory in which Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to receive neither his prophets, man. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord, the Lord is not going to give his glory to another. Okay? If he if he won't do that to, to these different false gods and these idols, neither will he give glory to another individual that hasn't labored and, and correctly and properly in his name. Mm -hmm. So we have to understand that the spirit of prophecy is taking place right now. People are being moved spiritually. You good, bro? That's the spirit. You know, you got that's the spirit. I'm gonna say that because, you know, people will take what is that Amos and Joel, where the Lord said that He will pour out His Spirit on all flesh, mm -hmm. and they use that to to benefit them individually. No, the Lord's gonna pour out His Spirit of just that was Him pouring His Spirit out on all flesh. Yeah, yeah. Using Nick as an example to bring out a portion of the Scripture. Yep. But that doesn't make Nick a prophet. A prophet. Hey, well, the Lord is pouring out his spirit on Esau, making him a, a true devil right now. Mm -hmm. Okay? He pouring mm -hmm. that spirit out. Mm -hmm. Edomites are just showing their horns. You know? So everything is working in the direction of prophecy. And when, once we see that, we, 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 we draw at the analysis that this is all the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Okay? It doesn't necessarily make these particular individuals, because there's going to be more individuals that's going to come out right. speaking about this, man. Okay? Because one thing about it, two things for sure, when you find out you're a Hebrew Israelite, you don't consider that. The first thing you don't consider is you don't consider that you're going to receive backlash behind it. You just want to tell the world. You think it's good news. The scriptures say it's good news. Mm -hmm. So the, initially all you want to do is tell the world. You want to tell your friends, your parents, your cousin, your nephew. Mm -hmm. So, But then as you continue to go down the line, you begin to see that people hate this. Mm -hmm. They despise this. They don't want to hear this. Mm -hmm. Okay? And that's when you begin to... You know, really experience a, 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 a little of what Yahweh Shai experienced, man. He was hated of all men. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we are living in a time of prophecy, and what's happening is the, the spirit of prophecy is hitting these individuals and forcing them to speak on the Hebrew Israelite movement. Mm -hmm. So you got it, bro. I got one after you. I got one for you. Uh, this is First Corinthians 4 and 9. And it says, for I think that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set forth us, the apostles, last, as it were approved to death. Appointed. Appointed. Well, mine says approved. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, that's, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that. I, I, I always thought it was appointed too. Yeah, um, well, approved to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world and unto angels and unto men. And like we were saying, with, with a Nick Cannon and these different individuals, they're feeling the effect that other doctrines and other ways of, of life, it ain't getting the same attention no more. Mm -hmm. Because like how you said, there's plenty of rappers that, that speak on them being Muslims. Yep. They speak on them being atheists, being Satanists, and it re receives no backlash. Mm -hmm. But this is the truth. And that's the difference. Now, here's, here's the point. Verse 10, and it says, we are fools for Mashiach, Yahweh Shai's sake. But ye are wise in Mashiach, Yahweh Shai said. We are weak, but ye are strong. Ye are honorable, but ye, but we are despised. And that's the balance of it. And you individuals, you gonna you think you're gonna step up and hit the world, millions of people with this great word, and you think that it's going to equal glory and celebration. Yep. You think that that's what's going to come from it. I'm going to, I'm Deshaun Bryant or whatever his name was. Deshaun and I'm, Jackson. Deshaun Jackson. Right, another. And I'm going to tell everybody that y'all, we are the chosen people. But then when that backlash came from it, because to, to tell people that we are the chosen is to tell everybody on the other side that you're not chosen. 
So you can't you can't straddle the fence. You gonna offend somebody. But a lot of a lot of and that's the, the lot of the prophet. That's what we're really going into is the lot of a prophet is he understands that he's supposed to be hated. He's supposed to be disliked. That people are gonna despise him for his the beliefs. But that's where that unction and that calling from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai kicks in. Yeah. Because you can handle it. Mm -hmm. Because it's from on high. Yeah. A lot of you are just coming in thinking that, oh, I'm just going to tell millions of people, you're Israelites, Fantasia, you're Israelites, mm -hmm. you're Israelites, you're Israelites. Hey, we the chosen. But then when that backlash comes from the this chosen, uh -huh. you fold. Yeah, and, and that's the importance of having teachers to teach you how to go about this truth, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because we, we've done ample amount of videos uh, putting the disclaimer out there that you're going to be hated for this thing, mm -hmm. man. Family members going to turn on you. Your, your certain relationships going to fall. The world is going to hate you for what you believe in. Okay? But we understand initially when you first hear the truth, you get excited. It's honey. It's honey. You love it. You know what I'm saying? You think everybody's supposed to hear it. Okay? But then you find out the reality of that why would the world love you for telling them the truth when they purposely hid it from them. Right. This is what they hear from you, so why would they like it if it came back out? They don't want you to hear this. They don't want you to talk about this because this is a direct threat to their power system and structure. Okay? Mm -hmm. So they, they want to they suppress it. They want to keep it uh, secluded. Mm -hmm. Okay? But guess what? The individuals that, that stick their head out there, mm -hmm. all right, then you stick your head out on the chopping block, okay? You got to consider what come with it, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So sometimes you got to leave the, the, um, the job of a prophet to the prophets. Man. That's right. And this is um, 2 Ezra chapter 2. And I'm going to start at verse um, 43. I'm going to start at verse 42. I, I, Ezra, saw upon Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature. All right? This is a future prophecy. Uh, speaking on Yahweh and the elect. Mm -hmm. All right, it says, um, um, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered me and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and received palms. So first, the individuals that, that receive the blessings and the crown of Yahweh Shah, first and foremost, it was written that they confessed the name. That's right. Okay? So therefore, in order to get that glory with Yahweh Shah, in order to be a joint heir with this man of tall stature, which is the son of man, Yahweh Shah, you would have to know his name. Mm -hmm. You would have to believe in his name and you would have to confess his name. And how do you confess the name? You don't go into the bathroom in the mirror and say his name five times. Right. That's not confessing his name. And you got these, these Christians that are walking around the mall while you're trying to get a pair of shoes, walking up to you with a pamphlet talking about, do you confess Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior? That's not a confession, man. Mm -hmm. All right? When you confess the name of the Lord, it's done through prayer and through work. Okay? Sure. That's how you confess the name of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. By going to the highways and byways and, and, and speaking on the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Alright? By, by praying to Yahweh Bashem Shah, By blessing the name of Yahweh Bashem Shah. That's how you confess the name of the Lord. So first and foremost, those that receive the palms, okay, those that receive the, the, the glory of Yahweh Bashem Shah, well, they, they confess the name. That's right. Okay? So I'm going to keep going. Alright, it says, uh, hey, Shalom. 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 It says, uh, it says, uh, uh, verse 45, he answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God. Now are they crowned and received palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? All right? And, you know, and I'll be, be real with you. You don't hear these celebrities speaking about Yahweh Shah, bro. No. Okay, they speak about you know genocide and slavery, and, and they speak about how we the chosen. But when it comes down to your house, shy, they ain't pushing your house shy like that. Mm -hmm. You know, they ain't magnifying his name, they're not speaking on his story, they're not speaking about his sacrifice and what it meant for us as a people. Mm -hmm. They're not telling they're not telling our people that this is the way in which we'll be delivered. 
Okay, they just you know giving uh you know the curses. Basic right. basic knowledge. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and and if I may say, absolutely. You know, the scriptures, the scriptures told us that the Lord says not a, uh, not many oracles, not many uh, uh you know high stature people. The Lord's not looking for that to push this word. So that idea of thinking that you're going to have these scholastic journal the, uh, <laughs> entries to wake up people, that's not so. Mm -hmm. The Lord is using the spirit. In the, in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it's just not, like you said, it's not simply going into a camera and, or, or to a mirror and just saying his name five times. Mm -hmm. it's, it's properly breaking down these scriptures because the, the word is Yahweh Shai. Yep. Mm -hmm. So when you're giving the glory, when you're Teaching the word in righteousness and in the right way, divine the word, you're actually give that's giving glory to Yahweh Shai in itself. And none of you are doing it because you don't you you're not you're not saying I got this from Yahweh Shai. You know, he, he blessed me with this knowledge, wasn't you understanding, did. you're not doing any of those things. Nope. So it's still from a very shallow perspective. Absolutely. It's not deep. To anybody that's in the world, what Nick did was deep. But it wasn't deep because at the end of the day, he didn't, oh, you see him, bro. You know, it wasn't deep because at the end of the day, he didn't tell you nothing. He didn't add really anything to you. He told you who you were, but he didn't tell you necessarily what's to come, your enemy. So what do Jews are pretending to be as? No, you need to know that that's your true, natural enemy. Mm -hmm. It's deeper than just simply them stealing your identity. Mm -hmm. It's way deeper than them just calling themselves Jews, man. God. Mm -hmm. Our hate goes back to the to the beginning of, of to the book of Genesis. Yeah, right? the beginning of the creation. The beginning of the creation. It's a lot deeper than just simply some people. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't mean to offend the Jewish community and and and, and all of that. No, 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 no. We gotta offend you because all the offenses of what you've done to our people go back to Adam and Eve. Yes, mm -hmm. Cain and Abel. Jacob and Esau. We're greatly offended. We're by greatly offended so by Jewish people, man. We're greatly offended by you. We're not recanting any statements that we've made, considering your whole community. Okay, nobody cares, bro. Right. Okay. We here it is. We've been beaten and pummeled all throughout the face of the earth, and we still got to apologize to you. When have Esau ever apologized to us? Right. Right. Never. They never apologize, bro. So that's why, like the the, the topic of the lesson is, the Lord is going to give His glory to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. And the 144,000 in the elect. That's what's going to get the true glory, man. Mm -hmm. And that glory, the ultimate glory, is going to come through the salvation. You know? And I'm going to finish off this, and then, then y'all got it. This is uh, um, 2 Ezra 13 and um, 47. It says, So he answered and said unto me, It is the Son of God, whom they had confessed in the world. See, mm -hmm. in order to receive the reward of, of the kingdom of heaven, you have to confess the Son of the Most High. Which is Yahweh Shai. You're not just going to come on the scene talking about, uh, 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 you know, with Hebrew Israelite, then you expect them to get saved. Right. No, you have to confess the name of the Most High in this world, exactly. in this realm. Okay? And that confession, like I said, comes through faith. Because there are going to be certain people that's going to be delivered that's not going to necessarily go to the highways and byways. But they'll confess that name through faith. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll cry to that name. They'll pray to that name. They'll speak on that name. They'll stand and hold their integrity for that name. That's their confession. And that's what we're doing. When we go to camp and when we fellowship and we do these lessons, we're confessing the name of the Lord and that we believe in it. And there's power in it. And that there's power in it. And these other celebrities, I have not yet I heard Cassidy say it. Cassidy and uh, 40 Cal, the battle rap. 40 K, yeah. Oh, see, I ain't, I ain't never even heard that. He was on his live. He was, I'm about to get into my Hebrew, my Yahweh, well, my Shem, my Shem. I saw that. I saw that. Queen's Flip. Yeah, he's on his I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to finish this off. You got it. It says, um, it says, Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. See? In order to receive this reward, you, you're going to have to stand stiffly. You're not going to have to issue out an apology to no fucking body. Right? Mm -hmm. and, I, and we understand the balance of it. You know, this man is, is, is he, you, you can tell he's sold out. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. He's on a, a, on a high level. You got MTV shows and movies and documentaries and, mm -hmm. you know, all, all of this. You know, he dated Mariah Carey. So we understand he's up there with, when it comes down to these elite. Okay? 
But we ain't issuing out no uh, uh, no apology, man. Mm -hmm. You know, right, writing it on and, and posting it on the ground, talking about leaving the earth. Nobody trying to leave the earth because people got an opinion about me. I ain't ready to go back to, hey, like, to the spirit world because right. cause fucking the wicked hate me. I don't, I don't want to stay and fight till your whole shot come back and we, and, and we could uh, uh, get the glory with the Lord. Ain't nobody trying to you know commit suicide. I can't take it no more, man. Fuck the world, man. If he knew the scriptures, if he knew the scriptures, because he, he, he has some of the knowledge, but if he knew the scriptures, he know that the scripture says in Job that the triumphant of the wicked is short. He would know that, mm -hmm. you know? And um, I did want to bring a scripture out. If, if you finish, yeah, I'm done. I okay, and, and I want to land back on your point about what you said about how the Lord is basically when it comes to His name, He's not. These celebrities aren't pushing it because they don't really have it. They don't really have right. the key. You know what I'm saying? Like they know where the door is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, or they know where the building is. They know this is, but they yeah. don't have the key to get in. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is um. Luke chapter 10 and 21. In that hour, Yahweh shall, shall rejoice in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. Mm -hmm. Right? Because scripture says what? That that uh, 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 the wisdom of this world is foolish with the heavenly Father, but he can build it unto the meek. Mm -hmm. Okay? So everybody that has a certain status quo yeah. in this society, he hasn't revealed that to many of them. Yep. So it says... Uh, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, one key is his name, and his son's name, and has revealed them unto babes. Right? A babe is someone that's that's basically a, a, a needing nourishment, you know, needing to be taken care of, which through the Holy Spirit, we get that from apostles and, and men on this earth that raise us up, and we do likewise unto others. Yeah. And ultimately through the Spirit. But if you're not going to allow yourself to be reborn and... and, 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 and uh, uh, um, be as a babe, then you're not going to get that nourishment, that key. So the ones that have have, have taken heed, they get the things revealed unto them. It says, even so, Father, for it seems good in thy sight. So really, the meek of the earth, mm -hmm. the babes, the lowly, the ones that ain't really have, you know, uh, uh, um, they don't have a pot of pizza or a window to throw it out of, so to speak. Those are really who the Lord is dealing with. He's not dealing with these celebrities. You know? Yeah, that doesn't mean, that, like we said, that doesn't mean that certain celebrities aren't going to receive salvation. Right. It's just that the the, the, the idea, the, the, the possibility of your favorite. Like I said, I was like I was saying I was saying to my rib this. I said, could you imagine if somebody like J. Cole really came? J. Cole and these individuals actually being in the camp is more of a distraction and beneficial. Yeah. So yeah. is this not going to happen? Uh -huh. Because if, imagine if J. Cole was like, hey, I, I with you brothers, I want to be in your camp. Fresh out of just being a celebrity. People going to come, you could be you could be, there. You could be teaching 15 years. Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> yeah, uh, nobody going to come to the camp. Oh, yeah, J. Cole, so you believe in this? I want to hear what you got to say. Right. Well, I'm here. J. Cole going to be like, well, I'm here because these brothers. Mm -hmm. You should go, no, 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 I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, yep, yep. That's that, that's that, um, yeah, that's, that's mm -hmm. that, uh, uh Serac 10, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when the, um, cause he's still J. Cole, he still got the reputation. Right. But people like, like the, uh, the brothers going into, people was, well, listen to him, man. You know, because mm -hmm. why? It's the scripture say, um, you know, poor man speak. Yeah, poor mm -hmm. man speak, they say, what, what fellow is this? But for um, rich man speak, they exalt to the clouds. That's right. Yeah. You know, so that's why the Lord not gonna allow, you know, uh, uh, Nick Cannon to join the camp or, or uh, uh, um, uh, Deontay Wilder. You imagine, you know, Jake's like that, Johnny yeah, Ron's bomb all up and yeah, up. Up. <laughs> up. And the whole the whole block would be uh flooded with people listening, man. Yeah, because uh -huh. people are simple. You know? and, and and then that pride, one one thing about it, these celebrities, they 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 they're addicted to fame, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what they may say on their rap records or whatever, they are addicted to that that attention, mm -hmm. that glory. That's a demon. Okay, it makes you feel like you're somebody. It makes you feel like a, a person of importance. So when they come into the into the under the knowledge of the truth, so to speak, and they receive the, they receive that fame, they don't consider that this fame comes with another type of backlash, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, this fame on you know niggas ain't just hating on your song. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Niggas ain't just hating on your on your uh, on your TV show. Uh, they ain't just they ain't hating on yeah. they're they're hating on your belief. Mm -hmm. They're hating on your integrity, the spirit. They're hating on your energy. They're hating on yeah. your on your life. 
They want to kill you. Mm -hmm. They want to despise you. They're going to make you the most despicable person that's yeah. ever walked the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. That's the difference mm -hmm. in being hated for, for wickedness and the difference of being hated for righteousness, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? And a lot of you celebrities don't consider that when you make these statements that you're going to be blackballed. Yeah. Yep. And they and they're starting to uh, slowly realize. They're starting mm -hmm. to slowly feel mm -hmm. that that uh, that pressure and that hatred, you know, from from their beliefs. Yeah. You know, they're starting to get a glimpse of it. But hey, you know, we've been dealing with this, man. And and you know, through the Spirit, the Lord has has given us, uh, you know, sufficient uh, uh, wisdom and knowledge and understanding of how to deal with the hate. You know, we're not bugging out. We, you know, I got a quick precept. This is uh, Luke 14 and 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sitteth not down first and counteth the cost, whether he has sufficient to finish it? Yeah, so, you know, basically it's saying, you know, you, why would you not count the cost? You know, you know, which of you sit not down first and count and count the cost? You know, so, so you, Nick Cannon, and you other celebrities that are starting to speak out, you know, you're not, you're not, you're starting something that you can't even, that you know you can't finish. Yeah, with all you're getting, get understanding. Right. Mm -hmm. the Jake, Jake, hit the truth, and they so used to being the center of attention, mm -hmm. they two weeks in, and they just popping shit. Mm -hmm. Read. Read. Watch videos. Mm -hmm. Study. Find out the, the, the name. Let's just jump out there like that. Right. So process. It's man. more, it's more to the... It's way more to this to this Bible than Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of layers. It's a mm -hmm. lot of layers to it. A lot of y'all, you come in and you think that that's just enough. Mm -hmm. Just Deuteronomy right. 28 and 68, the slave ships and cargo slave, and that's mm -hmm. just that's right, just right. enough for you, and you just stop. There's so much more to this than one precept. Learn the scriptures and all. See, yeah. in this whole Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you don't want to go any deeper than that. You just want to stay there, and, yeah. and that's just enough for you. And, and these scholars, they'll, cause they'll they'll confound a lot of you. Okay. Yeah, cause they, okay. and they'll use they'll use the truth to confound you. They'll throw in little points of truth and then and then swerve in a lot, like vocab, yeah. just like vocab. Yeah. That, okay. That's how they they cause these these individuals they need the truth in order to perpetuate their life. That's right. They can't yeah. lie without the truth. So they'll stick they'll stick little points of truth in there. And see, that's what the the, the, the brothers that that's been seasoned for a while will come in like we agree with that. We don't disagree with that. Mm -hmm. We agree with what you just said, but that's what you just said. That's wrong. That's a lie. That's yeah. how uh, the Spirit had us to do with uh, the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim al Shai had us to do with E.J. Love and them. Yeah. Adam and them. They was trying to, you know, yeah. slither in. But see, uh, you know, Nick Cannon, you, you wasn't even 24 hours and you, you apologized. Bro. Right. right. Like, come on, bro. You could have easily <laughs> just put a few scriptures out there to... Right. to to j j hold your position just for yeah, a couple of days. He yeah. could have yeah. hit him with more history. I want to apologize yeah. right. to you, and we still are in our captivity until this very day. Mm -hmm. You could have hit him with more history. Yeah, right. you could have, man, he could have mm -hmm. went in, bro. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm so like, I just, I just wanted to make a point. He's not apologizing because, because he's really sorry. He's apologizing because mm -hmm. now Esau has him by the balls. Mm -hmm. That's the only His reason he apologizes. Yeah. His reputation on the line. His yep. reputation, yep. Uh -huh. yep. I got something real quick. This is uh, because the topic of the lesson, brothers, is that the Lord is not going to give his glory to another. That's right. Okay? There are men out here that's been de that's dedicated their lives to Yahweh Bashim Shai. That's dedicated their time and their body, their relationships, their, their, their careers. They've dedicated that to the Lord. Okay, so these little neck are mm -hmm. not just gonna come on the scene at the end, of, at the end all be all, and receive all the fame. It, it take it take years to get these the, the understanding of the scriptures, and mm -hmm. we still babes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It take years to to be able to you know have a, a, a back and forth with a, a, a professor mm -hmm. or with a vocab or anybody mm -hmm. or anybody, bro. Your grandma, oh, you come yeah. to you first come to the mm -hmm. truth. Your grandma eating your ass up. Then then you you know you know a mm -hmm. couple months down the line and you start handing it to her, mm -hmm. you know. But it mm -hmm. take it takes time to get to the point to really stand for this. The Lord's not just going to just give His glory to to to, to any old individual man. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. the Lord's getting ready to magnify His name as He did in the times of old through His mm -hmm. service, man, as He's always done. Okay, mm -hmm. and because you know why? Because the Lord is is proving us and trying us out. So when he does magnify his name, we'll, we'll give the glory to him. Mm -hmm. 
You get these individuals, man, they ain't gonna get the glory to y'all about your mouth. They're not doing that now. Mm -hmm. right. And I got something real quick, man. You gotta preach. This is um Ecclesiastes 3 and uh, 19. Many are in high places and of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Y'all was <laughs> I got a slack of that's that goes hand in hand with what I read earlier, but yep. that was my point. That's what that's you what know, you know, yeah, get that. that was it. Because see, you have these people in these high positions and this status and, and basically their lives are an open book. So they're put they're put in the light of you want to follow them, you adore them. But when it comes down to something of truth and of, of, of the firm, mm -hmm. you know, because basically their lives are basically about changing every so years. So their their foundation is not something that they stand on. They can say this today and be different tomorrow, which is exactly what's going on. You change but, your haircut and, uh -huh. and shirt. Right. So, <laughs> so, but when it comes to the truth, okay, the Heavenly Father, he reveals it to babies. Why? Because babies and the meek are, are able to grow what the scripture says, teach a child the way he shall go when he's old, he shall not yeah, depart from it. Mm -hmm. yep. So by the time these babies grow up, they're strong in the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shai. They're not going to change. They're going to stand spiffy for the name of the Lord. That's right. So the Lord would rather in the spirit reveal it to somebody that he can utilize and grow than just give it to somebody on the fly and they think that they're going to get some kind of honor because of, of, of something they found out two days ago. Right. Two week, or, you know, or two years ago. Like the, like the bishop said, it's a process, you know, of growing in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I want to read oh, this. Yeah. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 36 and 13, or mm -hmm. uh, well, 14. It says, Fill Zion with thine unspeakable oracles, mm -hmm. and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, mm -hmm. and raise up. Prophets Woo. that have been in thy name. So going back to the beginning, the Lord is 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 when it comes down to who He's revealing His secrets to. When it comes down to who's going to be raised up to get the honor and glory, He's giving it to the prophets. And you have to have been sanctified from the beginning to get the foundation of us. Because if you I know? may, if I may add yeah. to that, that beautiful precept, mm -hmm. when you read what is that Second Peter, it speaks about the, you are a, cho a chosen royal priesthood. Mm -hmm. And when you go into the commentary of that, that the scholars say they speak about the priesthood being the highest office you can receive in the planet Earth from the Lord. Mm -hmm. a, a prophet's office is higher than a king. That's yeah. why the top kings in the scriptures, like King David, King Solomon, for yeah, an example, yeah, yeah, yeah. were prophets. Yeah, right. Because being a prophet is there's nothing higher in the higher. flesh that you can receive. Yeah, yeah. Samuel, Samuel, right? Samuel, yeah. Samuel was a uh, Elijah. Saul's prophet. Yeah, Elijah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's the mm -hmm. highest. So the Lord is that's that's how the spirit of the Lord flows on the earth. Mm -hmm. It don't go to generals. It don't go to scholars. Mm -hmm. It don't go to uh, oracles and mm -hmm. orators and all that fancy. You know, mm -hmm. war. It don't go to warriors. Mm -hmm. It goes to the prophet. Go to prophet. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why the, the greatest gift to covet is the the, 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 the prophet. The prophet. Yeah. Yeah. The prophet. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because right. when you're a prophet, you're getting a direct. There's there's no interruption. There's a direct mm -hmm. inclination from the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. That's all right. So the Lord is dealing with the prophets directly, okay? So these 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 secrets and these different revelations were given to men from the foundation of the earth, okay? And, and that goes to show you a lot of you guys, you want to jump out there on your podium, but you fumble. Mm -hmm. You fumble, man. You ever done your due diligence to see, like, well, like the brother Ray, you got to, yeah, yeah, you ain't got to call us. And we be rooting for them when they come in, oh, shit, yeah, like, okay. <laughs> yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah. the, the, the 15 hours later, boy, like, well, look at this <laughs> 15 shit, hours later. you know what I'm saying? I got a quick one to back, back up your point. Ooh, a little bit, ooh, ooh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, and this is uh, Ecclesiastes 36 and 16, it says, reward them that wait for thee, not popcorn, pop tart Israelites. Okay, but those that waited for the Lord, okay, and let thy prophets be found faithful. Mm. So, so the reward and, and the glory is going to come to those that waited for the Lord, not that just like the bishop said, use your platform for the day and then tomorrow it's, it's mm -hmm. easily you know washed away. Mm -hmm. You know, 
kind of. That's right. This is uh, Second Peter one and nineteen. I'll start nineteen. We have we also we have also a more sure word of prophecy, mm -hmm. whereunto ye do well that ye take heed, as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn, and the day star arise in your hearts. Yeah. So this pro the prophecy, which we have, okay, like brothers are going into. That's 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 the biggest thing, you know, for for you to be able to tell everyone in the world. What is getting ready to happen? You know, that's a heavy office. You know, for yes. you know, the Lord basically, uh, or, or what scriptures say, the Lord reveals the secrets unto the prophets. So that's a secret. That, not everyone, not everyone, Joe Schmo knows what's getting ready to happen, man. Mm -hmm. I'll keep going. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Mm -hmm. And this is the point, verse 21 for the, prophe for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. But holy men of the Most High spake, as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Holy, holy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so men separated from the batch. Mm -hmm. And you can't, you can't be a clean shirt and a dirty shirt. Mm -hmm. Either you're gonna be with the clean clothes, or you're gonna be with the dirty clothes. <laughs> right. yeah. It's just that simple. No in between. It's no in between. So, and like we were saying, me, me and the bishop before we got on camera, we were speaking on. We were like, what Nick did. Was was did a did, did it was a great was a great thing for the sake of the truth, mm -hmm. but then it comes down to his own individual walk Absolutely. and his own integrity, mm -hmm. and that's between him and Yahweh by shedding out with shots because right. now his integrity mm -hmm. in the name for the sake of the Lord is being in question mm -hmm. because you apologizing, you're breaking your fold, but that doesn't mean that the, the, the truth doesn't stand, right? right. You know, mm -hmm. that's that's real, man, and mm -hmm. and, and that's where you know I I, I did the video, hey. The, the prophet's job is for the prophets. You don't see us trying to get on wild now, cracking jokes and rapping. Right. <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes you gotta know you gotta know how to play your part, uh, mm -hmm. Jake, man. But see that the only reason Jake do that is because they they misuse the prophets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they don't they don't give that space to the prophets to be able to deal in these different arenas. They they take the initiative on themselves because they've never respected us. Yeah. It's pride. Mm -hmm. It's pride. He's going back pride. to that. Um, mm -hmm. what's that? John four. Well, yeah. Yahweh Shai said, prophet have no honor in his own country, yep. Yep. you know? And, and one thing about it is, is, is being anointed with that spirit of prophecy from Yahweh Bashim Shai, when, when you're speaking on, on prophecies of that, that already came to pass, you got to break them down. Right. But then, think prophecies that didn't come to pass, you got to break them down. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Just because you speak on prophecies that came to pass already don't make you a prophet. Right. Yep. Okay? It's a breakdown at that point because it already came to pass. Mm -hmm. When you're prophesying about future events and strategically going into it and breaking down the RFID microchip, yep. breaking down the, uh, the collapse World of America, World, 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 World War III, yeah. and, 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 and then receiving these different visions and incarnations from the Howard Shemal Shah, that's what makes you a prophet. Being able to mm -hmm. go into historical events that were prophesied at one point doesn't make you a prophet, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? The prophets, the, the secrets of, of the Yahweh Bashim Shai is revealed in, in for the future, man. Yep. Okay? The Lord reveals the secrets for the future. So you have to understand that what's happening right now is a it's a it's a paradigm shift. It's a shift towards the consciousness. Yep. Okay? And as we're being shifted, you have to understand who is at the forefront of this of this shift. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. It make it a lot easier for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and it's, you know uh, what what these people, what these certain celebrities lack is wisdom. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. Jake knows stuff. You yeah. know, like 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 Bishop Atalon said. You know, Jake Jake might can you know make a couple points and you know do yeah. certain things, but when you and like brothers are saying, you should take your time and really deal. You know, build a relationship with the Most High. Get into read. You know, do yeah. things that are going to build your spirit up because once you gain wisdom, you'll realize that you need to use discretion. Absolutely. That's right. You know, mm -hmm. I got I got some real quick, unless if no one was holding on. Proverbs yeah, 4 7. <laughs> God, it says, uh, wisdom is the principal thing. Yep. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all that getting, get you know, understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, a lot of you celebrities, like I said, you, you, you're knowledgeable. You know, you can, you can, you know, you know, you can go into certain things. But if you had wisdom, then you would know, okay, let me let me just keep my mouth shut 
you know, let me just, you know what I'm saying, build a relationship. I might I might tell certain people in pri in a private setting, you know, hey, because you can do more damage behind closed doors than, than on the internet. You you talk to uh you know you talk in, in, in private you know with a couple higher uh you know a couple other celebrities someone that might hear hear the truth you know you know what the problem is though like you said wisdom you you just so infatuated with the honey of the scriptures mm -hmm. that you don't know how to really deal with this because I think what you're saying is Jake Jake don't know how to disconnect from America and see down the road mm -hmm. so in their mm -hmm. mind. They just see, I'm just going to throw this out here, and you just do Evelyn Rothschild and Rockefeller and Oppenheimer and DuPont. Do they, do they, hey, how, you know what, we got something to say. Man, fuck uh, y'all niggas. Right. They don't do podcasts. They don't do podcasts. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> World star videos and shit. Do one on the radio. You don't, you they don't do it. Do it. They, they, they move in silence. Like yeah. you said, things that happen behind the scenes. Be way more important than this shit that's happening in front of the camera. Right. Even with even the apostles and elders, our our elders, mm -hmm. the men that we honor, they tell us, oh, what what they teach on camera is way different than the spirit that they bring off camera. Yeah. Because when we giving this to the camera, we we thinking, hey, we thinking new listeners, people that have never mm -hmm. heard this. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. not thinking, oh, this is a man that's going that's probably listening that's on a level for 10, 15, 20 years. We putting this out there in a babe sense. Yeah, and and, and if I may add to to to, to what, what 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 he's saying, see, you're not really giving the whole thing, celebrities. Mm -hmm. You're not really yeah. talking about it, man. You, you on this whole melanin thing, man. Listen, listen, man. Melanin is is a part of the truth. It ain't the truth, man. You got melanated people out here going right into slavery, man. You're right. You got yeah. melanated Edomites. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, the melanin. And, 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 you know, this is a... That's the, this, that's the composure. It's, yeah, it's like, no, no. That's, no. That's, that melanin breakdown is not scriptural. That, that, and now, Lord willing, you know, soon I'll do a lesson on that. Because I'm noticing that a lot of people are now oh, hiding man. behind that melanin breakdown. Uh -huh. No. The, the melanin... Yep. Melanin does not designate you a Hebrew Israelite or right. Edomite, man. That has nothing to do with it. It's an indicator mm -hmm. that w of what you may be. Right. But the spirit, the spirit supersedes melanin, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm noticing that interview that he did with uh, with Professor Griffin. Mm -hmm. He was um he was saying uh, uh uh you know the melanated man. That's where the compassion comes from. Yeah, right. you know we have this treasure from the heavens and the vitamin D and they I can't remember. That other shit yeah. Well, yeah. like that has nothing to do yeah. with the scriptures. Well, right. Nick, Nick, if you if you were deep or if you had wisdom, you would know that the devil once had it melanin. Right. Yeah. The yeah. devil that the, the Bible speaks of. The serpent. The, the serpent. serpent. The serpent, the one that deceived us, the one um, that got us in, in with his with his knee on our neck. The one that got one time was a melanated yeah. nigga. That's a cut. That's, right. that's a cut. Yes. So what does that mean? He was melanated as hell. Yep. Cain was melanated as hell, Cain killing Abel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He he, 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 got, he got the mark. He got that mark when he was Esau. Right. And what then you had Herod to have melanin. Come on, you know his yes. mom was a. Um, so much melanin. Was it was a, was, a, was a Jew? Yeah. Right. So come on, man. Cut the crap, man. What's up with Lenny Kravitz, man? That's a, right. that's a Edomite, man. Right. <laughs> he got a little melanin. Right. You know? So, you know, I just want to throw that disclaimer out there that melanin has nothing to do with the scriptures. With, with the, the, the scriptures, man. Being an Israelite, man. Hey, hey it's more, it's melanated Moabites, man. Got more melanin than some of you Israelites. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, it's melanated uh, East Indians, man. Darker than me. Mm -hmm. Darker than everybody in this room. Yeah. Ham through our ass in slavery and was yeah. melanated as a monk. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I like it. I was, uh, mm -hmm. I was working earlier and I had Jake, you know, with me. And Jake was basically getting on, uh, he was getting on um, uh, Elam in the store. He was like, Elam was kind of coming at him. And he was like, man, you know, they look like black people, you know, they black, but they not black. But they're melanated, right? But right. but that was his point. It was like, you can't mm -hmm. just call somebody your brother. That's the point he was making. We was talking to his friend in the back, but it was like, that's true. And that's something that he observed just from that five or ten minutes. He was like, hey, he's, he's black, but he's not, yeah. that, you know, but, but he's not. The same spirit as us, because they're different spirits. Yep. You know? They, these people just need to break down, man. If I could bring yeah. a quick one out. 
And that's why, you know, <laughs> you gotta come to the altar to get the bread. That's why if you celeb, you celebrities that's intrigued by the truth. Better for y'all just to be secret disciples and just yeah. pay tithes. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Secret, to tell you, um, I think it's in Timothy, you say those, those that um, basically have, basically, roughly paraphrasing, have riches, mm-hmm. yeah, riches of this world are supposed to be ready to distribute, man. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of y'all just need to play that role. Like these bugs going into, stop trying to slide to a role of a teacher and a prophet and then, and then get on camera and fold like a damn um, lawn chair, man. Yeah, right. man. Just uh, like, right. like, like Joseph of uh, our Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know, he came and he came out of nowhere. Called a disciple. Yeah. Say, I, 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 he just wanted to get the um, get the, uh, the, the the body of the Lord, mm-hmm. you know, dress him up. Yeah, right. and, mm-hmm. and, and just from that one act, okay, he was he was he was a man of the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's faith. 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 It's it's just simple. We read it. We read. You can't read about Yahusha without reading about him now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You see, and then just off one that one simple yeah, act of faith, yeah, man. Right. And he was he was known as a rich man. He had yeah. money. And, you, and if I may add. You know, I know we, we will get back to the scriptures, but mm-hmm. you know, the, the, the point of it all is, is that that having faith will keep you in check. Mm-hmm. A lot of you, you think that because the listen, like we were going into it, I believe at camp or recently, when you read when you read Revelations, the Book of Revelation, one of the heavy books in the Bible. A lot of those books don't got nothing to do with us in the flesh, man. Come. A lot of that is prophecy being fulfilled in the spiritual realm. Between the Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and the holy angels, and what they got to do. Mm-hmm. That angel over here holding back the wind. That angel right. that, that dried up the Euphrates. And mm-hmm. All that is being done in the spirit. Yeah. We we just are through the foolishness of preaching, taking the blood off of our hands, and, and is pushing and then confessing the Lord. That's really all we're doing. The yeah. major work is happening through Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, and the spirit. Yeah. So when you come into your, you think because you got a platform and money, and follow it. Yeah, I'm going to do a great work in the Lord. What the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> right. The Lord don't need none of us. That's right. He said he raised up the stones. Up stones. Yeah. Yeah. He raised up the stones, man. That's a, that's a good uh, analy- analysis, man. Mm-hmm. You know, hey, the Lord, you know, literally, he has us down here doing the bidding in the flesh. But the heavy work is going on in the spirit, man. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay? Because we got to work jobs and... and Get, go to sleep and, and, weak flesh. and, and mm-hmm. deal with a woman. Yeah. So at times we, we don't even be doing nothing for the Lord, but the angels mm-hmm. like all just go they don't get tired. Mm-hmm. They don't get tired. They ain't they no. not taking a nap on the star. Right. You know, mm-hmm. those are the twenty four elders, you know, around mm-hmm. the Lord. They're not giving us anything. They just praise the Lord. They just praise the Lord. They just praise the Lord. You know, so hey, you gotta understand, uh, uh Jake, that war, understand source. Okay? Mm-hmm. Understand source. Well, how did the truth get in the earth? Right. It wasn't through Nick Cannon. Where, where are these people getting this from? Mm-hmm. Where are they getting this information from? They DMing brothers. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're watching the videos and they mm-hmm. jumping out there on their own to try to receive some type of glory yeah. for it. But then they end up folding. That's why the name of the lesson, like the brother uh, was speaking about, the brother Abu Baja was saying, the Lord's not going to give his name to another. That's why when you read in the Wisdom of Solomon, I think it's 14, the scriptures speak about the incommunicable name. Mm-hmm. And when, when you read that chapter, that whole chapter is going into idols, idol mm-hmm. worship. And he was saying that his name was incommunicable. And that word incommunicable means to uh, not be transferred or to be shareable. Mm-hmm. So basically the Lord was saying that all these other idols will not share my name. They won't share my glory. Mm-hmm. Okay, and so in the like sense, it's the same way with the with the the, the men, the servants of the truth, man. All right, I'm not about to have a, a, a let's say Jeffrey from uh, Fresh Prince mm-hmm. working in, in, in the crib, making sure food cooked and the house clean, doing all this, and then Uncle Phil gives the credit to fucking Sheila or somebody, somebody. Yeah, right. Like, like Hillary did, so Hillary didn't do ain't did shit. Hillary didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Did right. shit, man. You know. So it's like the Lord is not going to have another deity, another demon out here going by the name of Yahweh. Right. So he can get credit. The Lord's right. name is incommunicable, man. Incommunicable. It's unshareable. You, it's, it's untransferable, man. Mm-hmm. And neither is there going to be a mock 144,000. Mm. Right. Or a mimic. Right. 
Right. You know, mm -hmm. a mirror Doppel image, game. a doppelganger. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, <laughs> this true blue, the evil of that. <laughs> the, the, you know what I'm this is true blue. That's yeah. how you know it's the truth because you can't, you can't copy. Mm -hmm. But they say often duplicate, never imitate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Often yeah. imitate. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's a lot. Yeah. I got a green. I got a quick one. This uh, Isaiah 34 and 16, and this is what you're supposed to be doing. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Ooh. That's what you don't do, and not I'm not not just you celebrities. That's every single one of y'all out there that that just come up on this and think you're gonna uh uh, uh you know hey, shoot to the top. you know shoot to the top with this knowledge. Yep. You don't read. You don't do the due diligence of the studying. Mm -hmm. This is what you have to do because, as they say, reading is fundamental. Absolutely. You get the fundamentals of what the scriptures are about and your purpose of being an Israelite if you read. Ooh. It you draws, get it the draws foundation. Mm -hmm. You get that. But the reason why it's not coming across the way that you want it to come, or you're not getting one, because you're not getting the fundamentals of what the Lord is about. So it says, um, seek ye out of the book, uh, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, no one of these shall fail. Going back to the prophecies. The prophecies are set forth there in to come to pass, like the bishop said, in the future. Because he says, declare from the beginning that which shall come to pass. Yep. Okay? But you wouldn't know what's to come to pass if you don't read. Mm -hmm. So it says, Let's huh? see that reading. Hey, uh, yeah. yep. Hold on, I got a quick quote for you. Okay. Um, uh, Mark, Mark Twain said this. Mm -hmm. And he said, the man who does not read has no advantage over the man who cannot read. Mm. Oh, and that's a that, that's a, a good quote. Mm. The man who does not read has no advantage over the man who can't read. Why? Because they're both dumb. Mm -hmm. Dumb meaning they don't know they 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 don't eat, they don't have the intellect. knowledge. Mm -hmm. Intellect. They don't have intellect. You know, they don't have the knowledge of what they could know. Yep. If if the man that can't read was taught, and if the man that can't read, I mean, uh, that can read, study. So you both in the same boat. Yep. Well, really, really, you're worse. You know? Re yeah. Really, yeah. you're worse because yeah. you hide your talent in that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because you, you can do you, something. You know it. how. You know right. how to read, but, you, but you're not. <laughs> right. You know? Yep. Uh. So it says, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. And it's all about the spirit. That's right. The spirit is in control of how these things flow. It's in, the spirit is in control of how the word is getting out. Because we didn't just sit here and say, you know what, we're going to get together. We're going to make this word go. No. The Lord gives the increase. He's the one that lets this, this, you know, we just water. We tell you the warning. We give you the prophecies. We teach you. We do this video. But it's the spirit that gathered the Absolutely. men together. Absolutely. That gathered his words. Hey, you know? if I may, we was really talking about this Nick Cannon thing about two weeks ago before this, this thing ain't even popped off. Mm -hmm. yeah, one of the bros had posted the interview. I think it was a uh, uh, the, uh, the brother uh, from New York, Barack Gabar. It was like two weeks ago. Well, uh, I think he did that. Um, Cause that wasn't a, that wasn't an interview that was done two and three days ago. Mm -hmm. you no, know, it was a, it was a couple weeks ago. You know, and uh, it was already in discussion. Prophet, the Spirit of the Lord mm -hmm. had the, the brothers already, you know, analyzing it and breaking it down, man. Mm -hmm. You know, but then all of a sudden, social media got went to it and blew it up. Yeah. But not considering, we was already dissecting this through the Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Judging it. Judging it, you know why? Cause hey, like 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 the brother was speaking about about reading. Mm -hmm. All right, we look into things, we check things out, we, we examine things. Watchmen, we we, we we scrutinize, we scrutinize each other. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. we scrutinize everything, man. Hey, which is a good thing if it's done in balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but guess what, Nick Cannon, you ain't scru you ain't scrutinizing that information you bringing in, man. Okay. You ain't checking it, man. What's the name? Right. Yeah. Who are the twelve tribes of Israel? Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Right. You actually, you actually, rabbis, where the other tribes? Well, shit, break it down. Right. Yeah. yeah. If you were Israelite, then you suppose you should know that. Because yeah. guess, guess what? The, guess what these Amalekites gonna say? They gonna say that they don't know where the uh, mm -hmm. where the other tribes at. They say they they got lost when they crossed mm -hmm. the Sambation River. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh well, you remember yeah. them 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 uh, when we came out we went camp the other week. And them, them Edomites was out there, them Jews, 
And then, was, and then um, I asked them, I was like, uh, because remember, they saw the sign, and they was like, okay, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and they was like, okay, so I said, what's the other tribes? And they walked away. Mm-hmm. This maybe about a week or two ago, mm-hmm. you know? They don't want to deal. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, they, they saw the sign, because they was like, oh, Israel, they're like, the Jews. Like, okay, so I asked the question. I said, do you know the, uh, all the tribes? And they, and, and they named, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, because they know those Right, right. But going into all of them, I was like, hey, you know, how do you know how that? You know, they didn't, but they didn't know. But it's it's hard for you to do an uh, interview with a rabbi if you don't know that you know do. what they supposed to know. Exactly. Absolutely, you know, so a rabbi that's probably been studying his foolery right for probably longer than Nick's been alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right. But then you want to come back in the candy His belief, you go. You gonna fuck around him to become a, a, a Khazar? Yeah, he gonna yeah. be like, oh, <laughs> like, like a Mars Scott or Mars Shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nick about to get cut up. Well, Nick Cannon, he's not, he's not rude. Cause I just, that's why I said, hold up, man. Cause in that interview, they, they started out talking about yeah, we the Hebrews. But then later on, he he talking shit about the Bible, man. Yeah, man, we still go back to Egypt. Yo, nigga, man, man, ethnic. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, just dude. talking, man. Just talking. Yeah, you got it, man. You know, he turn around, and start talking. Yo ass, you be in the mix of a lot of bullshit. Mm-hmm. You be, you always in the mix, and you yeah. another one. You a pioneer yeah. and not standing up for shit. That's yeah. right, bro. You you a, you an information based nigga. That's it. That's all you've been doing on YouTube for the last the last fifteen years of YouTube. And Professor Grip is just well, you, and you know hip hop and, and bad mm-hmm. music and rap and, and this that and the third. Well, what, what is the solution for our people? Right. You ain't got no solution. Mm-hmm. So the Lord going. The Lord giving you celebrities a chance to to, to, to toss the shine to where it's supposed to go. That's yeah. it. But you're all yeah. failing miserably. Yeah. And you know, you know what, Nick, if you was really about it, you have you have Apostle Tahar on the page. Mm-hmm. You, and you have Zabak on there. Right. Mm-hmm. You have uh Danya yeah. Allah. Yeah. I don't even yeah. say you have Danya Allah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he gonna go yeah. Yeah. Cesar, he gonna go get a, a Jewish right. Amalekite on the show. Mm-hmm. Because you know why? Because Nick Cannon, he's not rude. None. He don't want to put these faces on his show because it's going to offend mm. a lot of white people. Yep. It's going to offend a lot of Edomites. And he don't want that smoke, so he yeah. goes to the devil. Because yep. he know the devil is going to try to keep it clean and neat. Yeah. Well, he's you know seeking sympathy well, from them. They're probably yeah. making them do that. I think they are. They're probably saying, hey, what? Because you know, you know what? Mm-hmm. You, so not no, to cut you no, off. You're, you're good. You know what made me think that I, that I think is, 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 is them doing that? He bucked up first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bucked up. He was like, look, man, they take my show. I demand my show, man. I was speaking out for my people. I'm being criticized. Mm-hmm. Then he sent sent out the uh That's where the PR spoke. Yeah, yeah. PR, PR, yeah. Like, see, <laughs> no, nah, man, they doing this, man. Cause they yeah. they they afraid that this this truth is getting out of control, man. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. The Hebrews were shitting the other day. Yeah. Yep. This truth is getting out of control. You know why? Because Yahweh Bashima is getting ready to get his glory. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, right. that's what's happening. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Lord getting ready to get his glory. He tired of being looked over. Mm-hmm. He's sick of being, you know, mistreated. He's sick mm-hmm. of he's sick of being despised. The Lord Yahweh Bashima is going to get his glory. He deserves it. You know, and you 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 you, you Amalekites, you so-called uh, uh, Jewish people, okay? You a big part in taking the name of the Lord out the planet Earth. Okay. The Lord will judge you tremendously for that, man. Mm-hmm. The house of Satan, you Amalekites, you are a major, major, major part of distorting information and taking the name of the Lord out the planet Earth, man. Mm-hmm. You know, to the land. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. so now this is, let me make off the brother. This is Isaiah 52 and 5. Now, therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Therefore, this is verse 6, therefore my people shall know my name. Mm. Therefore they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. So just like the was saying, what, what, what these devils have done is, is they've destroyed our people. They keep the name away from us. When 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 some when when we do speak up, they they put that pressure on us. But what did the Lord just say? He said, "Look, okay, I'm going to make my people know my name." Yeah. So he's spinning. He's he's taking this 
And he, this is your how boss me out. The how boss me out with y'all doing this. Yes. yes. Okay. Because what, 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 what do these Amalekites do? They create these networks of BET, MTV, VH1. Mm -hmm. And then they toss our people on there and parade them around as lawless individuals. Mm -hmm. From love and hip hop to basketball wives to uh, 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 these different BET Rap City videos, yep. the BET Awards, mm -hmm. okay, uh, Wildin' Out, which is a nigga five show. Yeah, yeah. World Star Hip Hop. Yeah, you know, yeah. World Star Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. they, they, are the, the, they are the central nervous system for all of these networks. Mm -hmm. Viacom. Yep. You Jews yeah. control every yeah. every industry. Right. You Jews control you Jew rats. You control the uh, porn industry. Yep. Which mm -hmm. proves they're not the real Jews. Right. You know. Now you got No, that's it. Yeah, yeah. boys. You control everything. Yeah. But we support. But we can't speak. You. We gotta apologize for calling you out on the bullshit that you've done to us. That's right. Crazy. That's crazy. We. I have to apologize for calling you out. On what you've done to my people, and still doing—that's that's how you know you 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 Jews. You are the devil that the Bible speaks yes, of. Right. Yes. That is the ultimate level of devilmanship. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a high level of devilmanship when you can make the the the, the, the oppressed apologize to you for complaining about being oppressed, <laughs> bro. That's 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 that's, 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 hey, that's, that's what you call mm -hmm. high level witchcraft. Mm -hmm. That's all that is. It's, mm -hmm. it, 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 it's, it's mind blowing the, the level of deception and sorcery mm -hmm. that's been pushed out into this planet Earth, man. Yep. Okay, it's mind blowing, man. Mm -hmm. This was all done through the spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can get some polling precepts too. Okay. I would, I don't want to. Well, I'm gonna let Ross not get. Oh, okay, okay. You know, he, he's trying to get that in. Yeah, trying to get it. It's uh, you know, going back to the, the topic of you know, the Lord not going. Give his glory to this annual celebrity that's come up and forget about the minute they're putting in his work, man. All right? And I don't know if y'all brought this out already. This is um, Hebrews 6 and 10. This is for the most high is not unrighteous mm -hmm. to forget your work and labor of love, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Like brothers doing now, doing these different lessons, you know, staying up all three hours of the night, reading and putting lessons up, yeah, catching you know, hell, catching hell, mm -hmm. you know, going through the suffering. All right? You got the apostles, they getting up in age, still out there. Pushing the word Yah Bashim Yah Shah. All right, the most side not gonna forget that, man. It says, which we have showed toward his name. All right, now notice a lot of the scriptures brothers bringing out. They commonly keep saying the name, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's yeah. a, another um, a hot topic right now is the name mm -hmm. of Yah Bashim Yah Shah. Mm -hmm. And the name is, is gonna be glorified in his last days, man. You, you, you're not in the truth if you don't know the name. Yeah, that's right. You know, it, it, right. it, goes, it goes hand in hand. You know, <laughs> if, if, you, if you're speaking about you a Hebrew Israelite, you need. You should know the name. Mm -hmm. Right. It go. It literally goes with the truth. Mm -hmm. Like you can't. You know. Like water in the cup, man. Yeah. You, you know? know. See, Nick trying to play that. The, you trying to be the Ti of, of Israel, man. Right. Yeah. You don't stand for anything because you just want to get along. Like I said, I'll, I'll say this to my brother. Like, what, what, what kind of what kind of Israel are you, Nick? Because you you haven't stood on anything. Are you a He's Brandon? Like, are you a Brandon T. Jackson Israel? Are you a Yah Israel? Right, right, right. Are right. you a, are you a, right. are you a Kendrick Lamar? Are you are you a Yeah, yeah. Are you a ISUPK? Yeah. 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 There's different kinds. There's different kinds. Yeah, yeah. But you just can't just come and just be. I'm an Israelite. No, no, no. Let's deal with that. Brandon T. Jackson. What? It's different. They are literally yeah. different spirit. Are you a Yah Israelite? Are you a Yah Yeshua? Mm. Are you a Yeshaya? Are you a Jesus Christ Israelite? Right. Yeah. You're, you're, you're Sean Israelite. Are you a Christian? Yeah. Yeah. But, if, but if you ain't got the name, you're not official. Yeah. Yeah. You're not really official. You either got unofficial, right. unofficial that don't have a name, and then the official one. <laughs> yeah, this, this is real. This is a real name brand. His name brand. Right? This is, you know. Yeah, it's knock off. Right? You a knock off. Yeah, yeah, don't be a knock off, man. Uh, uh, I finished it up. Y'all brothers got it. It says, um, which ye have showed toward his name, mm -hmm. in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister, man. Mm -hmm. Which that word minister both to serving, man. All right? And minister, ministering to the people by way of giving them his word, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You got, you know, Nick Cannon and, and, and uh, uh, you know, these other niggas, man, popping up, doing what you ain't got it, man. Yeah. Lord didn't establish you to be a minister to, to serve the people. Yeah, Nick Cannon, Nick Cannon has administered unto the saints. Right. He, you know, did wild, wild style freestyles. <laughs> you know, he, you know, right. 
dropped a couple trash ass albums, you know, made Drumline. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. it was the, it was the, uh, the uh, CEO of Nickelodeon. Making up beats. You ain't ministered. You ain't ministered. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, you ain't ministered. You ain't ministered to the saints, bro. Right. You Just be a saint. Yeah. yeah. Just be a saint. That's it. Yeah. But you know what? You want more on both sides, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think I think that the elite got, got their back. In, in his back, man. Nick Nick Cannon's always been a major puppet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For uh, for Amalek, man. Yeah. They 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 made this man the CEO of Nickelodeon. He was seventeen. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, like yeah. hold on, bro. Like, what you doing out here, bro? You yeah. know, like really, you got a show like like Abba was saying. He had he got one of the longest running shows on TV. Yeah, bro. What you, what you really doing, bro? Right. You know, podcast and mm -hmm. you marrying Christina Milian and Mariah Carey. And right. You know what I'm saying? He just like, bro. He like, he's like a young, uh, yeah. incredible. Yeah. Oh, he the uh, mm -hmm. the host of um, yeah, yeah, Mad yeah. Singer. Yeah. He was American oh, Got Talent. He was American Got Talent. Yeah. So it's like, he's like a young Steve Harvey. Cause Steve Harvey, yeah. he do everything. Yeah. 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 Radio shows, TV, you know. So it's like the truth. The truth ain't. You're not gonna be the the central source uh, for the truth, bro. Right. right. We're gonna you, kill you before that. Oh yeah. yeah. You yeah. know you gonna have to go. You gonna have to go to the dirt. Yeah. You know, you gotta get you gotta get brought all the way. You gotta sell everything you got. Mm -hmm. You gotta sell your riches, you yeah. gotta get them shows up, you know, and come yeah. up under the up under the spirit. Yeah. That's why that's why I scripted say was that Pegasus 7, uh a gift destroyed the heart. Mm -hmm. Which is why a lot of these celebrities they, they back out and fold because they don't want to jeopardize them goodies, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, they'll take a show, they black boy you from the industry. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, they'll smear your image. America got some you know, good. They got some real goodies they can give you, man. Yeah, slap, yeah. slap a slap of damn rape, rape. Uh, you know, they'll do that to you. Oh, yeah, they can destroy yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know with forty eating my women, yeah, he raped. You know, they'll, they'll jack it up, man. Yeah, yeah, jack it up, you know. They'll, and they'll, they'll take your uh, your family away from you. Mm -hmm. they just but what 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 what, he, what is Esau gonna do to to to, to brothers like us? That's low. Hey, to falsely accuse us and exactly. try to kill us. We count the cost. Mm -hmm. That's why the scriptures say, if a man is right before it says count the cost, if a man is not, does it hate his mother, father, yeah. mm -hmm. brother, sister, even his own yeah. life? Yeah. He cannot be a disciple of mine. That's right. That's right. To keep the thing is easy to add to hell my mom, to hell my dad, right. my, my brother, right. sister, right. to hell. No, but when it's time to. To say the hell with what you want to do for the sake of the Lord, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I, Jake, Jake get offended. They get offended. That's the uh, Matthew twenty-five. You know, they get choked out because of the cares of this world. That's they it. got a life. The cares of the world. You know, they got a life that they trying to, you know, mm -hmm. achieve and goals. And but come to the truth, it's you know. Yeah, because the love is going. The world is going to love its own. Yeah. Right. But if you're not of the world, yeah. When it, when the world, listen, we've, we've been ha we we've seen direct hate for this truth, man. Yeah. In our face. Yeah. One to put us down, one to nothing in the world. If they take our image and put it on TV yeah. and be like, you know, they, they, you know, they, they, who, they, in the world, they, who the fuck is that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> you know? No, <laughs> 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 you know, right. you know, the, the, the prophet, yeah, yeah, they put it up there, prophet of God, and, you know, the, 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 the raped and <laughs> another fucking nigga. Right. Because you know what? Crazy, crazy, crazy nigga. Yeah, that's yeah. being, being, being in the world. world. <laughs> but guess what? The gates of hell are not going to prevail against the elect. That's right. The gates of hell is going to pre prevail against you that are of the world. That's the difference. Okay? We have the testimony of our Lord and Savior. There's nothing that can come up against the, 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 the servants of the Lord that have advantage over them, man. That's right. Nothing. You know why? Because we, we gave it we gave it up. We gave it up. Yeah. We gave it up. Therefore, whatever we gave up could never be used against us. Okay? A lot of you people didn't give up the world. You got deeper and deeper into the world. Therefore, they can use the world against you. Yep. Mm. You can't use the world against a, 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 a group of people that never gave a fuck about the world. So right. you say gaming this with uh, content. God, God, God is with content. content. It's a great game. Great game. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, and Timothy, you know. Mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and get some final precepts. Uh, mm -hmm. You got the Isaiah 48? I'm mm holding -hmm. that one. Let's hit that real quick. Uh, this is Isaiah 48 and um, I'm going to start at 9. And it says, for my name's sake will I defer my anger, and for my praise will I refrain for thee, that I cut thee not off. Yeah, so the Lord is preserving a remnant for his name's sake, so that his name can be carried on. If the Lord was to destroy the Israelites, then that means he would have to destroy the tribe of Judah, and his name is in Judah. Mm -hmm. 
because but for his name's sake, for his legacy to live along, along, he deferred his anger. And he's not going to give that glory to another man. If he's doing the, the, the Lord is doing this for his name's sake. And by default, okay, through predestination, the elect is being raised up to do the same thing in his name. Okay? We're standing for the name of the Lord. We're standing for the truth. We put our life on the lines for the sake of our Lord and Savior, man, as they've done for us. Okay? So nobody's going to receive the glory for this truth except for the men that have been standing ten toes tall. Here it is, the Golden State Championship, but but then the, the, the Lakers get the rings. Yeah, no. Right. Lakers wouldn't even want them rings. That wasn't even it with the gold with Golden State on it. That wouldn't even yeah, make sense. Yeah, I mean, right. Like yeah, you can beat everybody in the league, and then the Lakers get the uh, yeah. get the, get the uh, get the rings though. Like come on, you know the Lord. The Lord is 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 is, is a just power. The Lord is, is but understand that He uses individuals with these platforms to push it on a higher level. Because the curtain is being opened, man. Yeah. The Lord Yahweh Bashem is going to get his glory, man. He's going to get his name. Mm -hmm. And what, what, is, what did the scripture say? Uh, a man's glory is what? It's his woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If we, are we not the, the woman mm -hmm. of Yahweh Bashem al mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to, he's always used his men to glorify and magnify his name. Mm -hmm. through, through power works. It was like, whoa. What the hell? They were like, wow. You know, but guess what they did? It's through the name of Yahweh Bashim al that mm -hmm. this was able to happen. Because the Lord has entrusted in these spirits on the earth that they will give glory to that name. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's why we're being proved. Okay? Was there any more? Uh, verse 10. Behold, I have re uh, refined thee, but not with silver. Mm -hmm. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction mm -hmm. for my own sake. Yes. Even for my own sake will I do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the Lord has done certain things to us for his purpose. The trials and tribulations, the, the everything that we go through, even the geographical location where you camp at, was all done for the purpose of Yahweh Bashan al to be used on a higher level to magnify his name. The Lord brought the children of Israel out of Egypt just to magnify his name. Mm -hmm. That's why he hardened Pharaoh. That's why he hardened Pharaoh. Yeah. He could have easily just had Israel not even going to Egypt. Mm -hmm. right. You see what I'm saying? But no, it was all set up so that now the Lord... Could go by what? Yahweh. Because before then, it was just, you know, it was, yeah. it, people knew the name was, was Yahweh, but it wasn't commonly known. Yeah. Okay? It wasn't it was, a magnified thing. It, it wasn't, wasn't a, it, the Lord name really got magnified as Alashaja after the flood. Mm -hmm. Then it got magnified as Yahweh yep. after the exodus of Egypt. But mm -hmm. all of that happened for the Lord's purpose for his name. Yep. The Lord's pleasure to do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Jake, do that. You know, you see these, um, you know, use the example of um, like those old 80s, early 90s drug dealers. What would they do? They would throw massive parties, block parties, events to do what? Put their name out there. Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is absolutely no different. It's like how you said, Yahweh, the, 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 the most high, he does these great events like with, with right. Egypt, yeah. to, to bring that glory unto himself. And in historians, I was watching this thing, I've been meaning to do a lesson on it, that the greatest things in, in history typically happens twice. Mm. So what's the next, what is the greatest thing that we're waiting for in history to happen for a second time? To say, I'm coming to your house shot. Yep. That is a so great mean, event yeah. to do what? Bring attention, yeah. a, a, a exposure. Everybody gonna stop. Everybody, Everybody gonna, gonna stop. stop. Ain't like that movie, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Mm -hmm. That's it. Everybody is gonna literally stop. Yep. Nothing is gonna matter at that point mm -hmm. except for what's happening in the heavens. That's right. And everybody's gonna bow. That's mm -hmm. it. Every single person that's alive on the planet Earth mm -hmm. is going to bow, bow to your how about your mouth. You know what? The animals gonna probably bow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The spirit of just. Of submitting to a higher power or an mm -hmm. yep. apex, like bars on bars on, you even say apex, apex predator. Yeah. 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 Oh, the brother yeah. throwing in real quick, a little tidbit. The brother, uh, the brother uh, Michael Allen from uh, uh, California. He said he had a dream that he perceived, the, you know, being coming down to be a house shy. He said he automatically bowed, like it was like it was like a force. Mm. Like everybody around it, it was, just, it was like automatic, man. Like on the, you know, on the yeah. Lion King when, when yeah. Simba, yeah, yeah, and, yeah. All, and every animal bowed, bro. Yeah. It was like, it was like automatic, man. Because that was the sun. 
Yeah, it's precious. Yeah. It's precious. Yeah. precious. Yeah. You know, you yeah. can feel yeah. the, it's like, person, you, can, you know, you can, you can feel the room as Jake will say. Yeah. And, and that feeling of yeah, how was shy entering the room? That pressure just, it's gonna yeah. be like you ain't gonna have no right. choice. You but just, yeah, just, yeah. Just, yeah. Like, just like when you in the courtroom and shit, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and when the judge walk out, you know. You, even in your head, you think like, man, it's a fucking devil. But when you see everybody stand yeah, up, your ass be like, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. yeah. it's a presence. Like you yeah. said, it's a presence. So when the Lord comes down to, to the Lord going to get oh, yeah. his glory, man. Mm -hmm. One way or another, Yahweh Bashimah Shai is going to get his glory. And so is his servants, man. Yeah. That's why it tells you that in Roman that, that, that his servants will be joint heirs. Mm -hmm. You see that? So the, the servants will be joined unto that glory as well. But it's, it's the... The sinner is always going to go back to the Lord. Lord, man. Lord man. You know? I was then, just finish right, come, then we'll get priests. I want to wrap it up. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 48 and 11. And it says, For my own sake, even for my own sake, will I do it. For how should my name be for how should my name be polluted? I will not give my glory unto another. That's it. Mm -hmm. And that's the name of the lesson. The Lord will not give his glory to another, mm -hmm. man. Hey, ain't nobody gonna be able to take the credit for the things that's getting ready to happen except for Yahweh Bashima Oshai and the men that use as joint heirs. As joint heirs. And we ain't even looking for glory, man. Right. Mm -hmm. We want the Lord to get his glory because he deserves it. We hey we man, our righteousness is as filthy rags. We ain't done nothing. Mm -hmm. We only did a reasonable mm -hmm. service. Mm -hmm. You know, a reasonable service. We suppose we supposed to do this. Yeah, I, we didn't. I didn't. Is a lot. I didn't right. die for my sins, or you, you didn't, exactly. or your sins, or you didn't die for my sins. Mm -hmm. Right. We we Israelite. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. But the Lord, the Lord, hey, he, he's so merciful. He's he it. really gonna make brothers get that glory. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, at, at the appointed time, of course. But everything is is, is is gonna go back to the Lord, man. Okay. When when Peter and John was buffeted for the name, what did they do? Call on y'all, my yep. shot, man. They praise the Lord, man. They was even more bold and courageous after that. Like, hey, man, we on point, you know. And they got beat up. I mean, it really. You see, sometimes some stuff be having the, the uh, brothers. I'll be happy, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Sometimes yeah, you happy, you have your moments when you catch hell. You just like, call on y'all about shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just it, you just be in that 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 mode where you just like, man, the Lord's still dealing with me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The Lord still he's still with me. So hey, that's that's the glory. That's the glory that 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 we look for. But the Lord is gonna. He said what? He said he's gonna get the praise and fame in the land where it was said unto them, "You are not my people, man." Okay, and that's gonna come in America because the Lord is gonna magnify His name through uplifting us, man. Mm -hmm. Through built, through beautifying us, through setting us in order, and streaming that power through brothers to do miracle signs and wonders to glorify His name. Mm -hmm. So this gear, this thing, get ready to intensify. Okay? This is year of prophecy, man. This thing get ready to go all the way up. Okay? You got it, bro. You can end on that, please. Okay, coming. So this is Isaiah 42 and 8. It says, I am the Lord, Yahweh. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. So once again, to reiterate the point, the name of the Lord is Yahweh. Okay? That's his name. Okay, when you read that in the Hebrew, that's what it says. He yep. to be. He exists in the Hebrew. All right? That's and that yeah. glory of him existing and who he is, mm -hmm. he's not going to give that to nobody else. Mm -hmm. He's not going to put his name on no other people. As he said, he don't change. That's right. All right? Okay? And the praise that's coming is not going to be given the glory to these celebrities. It's not going to be given the glory to, these, to America. It's going to go to him. Mm -hmm. And those that's going to praise him are his servants. That's right. You know, they don't. You don't want no Edomite or sinful ass dude praising him. You know, the Lord don't just want anybody just you know praising him. And that's why he took his name. Mm -hmm. You don't want just anybody calling on him, man. His holy name. Trick daddy, man. He trick daddy, you know. And yeah. <laughs> like, bro, man. Took no. Nasty freak, nasty Jake, man. <laughs> You know, the Lord ain't having no heathen directly calling on him, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord is raising up those souls from the beginning, from the foundation yeah. of earth, yeah, to, right. to, to glorify and magnify his name. And, we, and we, we're doing it uh, right now through the Spirit. And I say that as confidently as I can and humbly as I can, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? But what's being done is just being done. That's just the truth. Mm -hmm. We hope and pray that the Lord has mercy on us and that he looks upon our, our works and our faith and judge us according to his mercy and be delivered. 
But the reality of it is, is we're doing it. Okay? We hope to endure to the end. But we're doing it. Okay? When you really look at, at, at the grand scheme of things and everybody is being put on the forefront on who really knows this truth and believes in this truth. And really when you boil it down, man, it only boils down to a few brothers, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? So we, we have we, you know, it gets to where uh, everybody is dropping the ball, man. Mm -hmm. So the Lord is going to, you know, he's going to do things to show who really got the truth in these times, man. That's and right. he's going to give his glory to, to his, his name. His name is going to be glorified and magnified through all kinds of signs, wonders, events, and power, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up, giving all praises, glory, and honor to. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I will. All right, double honors once again to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love to the elect. Until the next lesson, we say Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.